Hello everyone, it's Todd down at Motorsports Land. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new 2024 Viking ROK 12,000 series. Um, ROK stands for Rear Outdoor Kitchen, which and we'll take a look at the, the whole unit and end on that uh, kitchen on the back. Uh, to start out with, a nice little unit, uh, only weighs a little over 2,200 pounds dry, uh, so you can uh, tow it with some of your mid-size SUVs and some of your a uh, little bit smaller trucks. Um, great little trailer. You're gonna have on the outside, you've got a nice awning with LED uh, blue lit under, underneath. You're down below here, they're gonna give you an extra LP connection. Uh, so you can hook up your camp chef in addition to the rear um, outdoor kitchen and have some extra cooking abilities. And you've also got a 110 plug here right before you step in. Okay guys, so on the front here, Nice profile to the trailer. You're gonna have a place to mount your batteries as well as it uh, comes with one five gallon propane tank to set up on the front here. As we swing around, you're gonna see now one of the biggest features of this unit is the rooftop tent. Uh, this comes with a Thule tent, folds all uh, up so that when you're out, if you need more sleeping or you just like to enjoy the outdoors, you can undo that tent and uh, it comes with the the extendable ladder so you can get up on top there and uh, do some camping up on top. You do have a rear mount air conditioning unit that we'll see on the inside. Uh, nice thing about these uh, side mounts is that it uh, they take a little less power to run so you can run them with a little smaller generator if you're taking a generator with you. We do have uh, a storage compartment here so you're able to store some of the uh, supplies you need to bring with you. As we move towards the rear, they do come prepped with the Lippert on-the-go ladder bracket. So if you want to have a ladder that you can get onto the roof with, uh, you are already got the bracket there, you just get the ladder and hook it on. Towards the back here is where all our hookups are going to be. Um, this is going to be your water heater, city water supply. So if you're staying somewhere that has pressurized water, you can hook it into there and just use that. Uh, this is going to be your fresh water tank fill and your shore power. Uh, over here, this is a coaxial in, so if you're staying somewhere that has cable, you can run cable into it. And this little one above it is a solar uh, 12 volt in, so if you have portable solar panels. This unit does also come with a 200 watt solar panel already on the roof. Now, as we come around to the rear kitchen, uh, this is how they've been able to make this a little smaller unit is that the kitchen's on the back underneath this nice uh, door that stays up to give you some protection out of the sun and the weather. Nice 12 volt fridge. It's going to come with a gray stone skillet, microwave. You're going to have your sink and a two burner cooktop on there. So everything you need to cook in the outdoors. Let's go inside and take a look at what the inside looks like. So as we, as we look, it's got pretty good clearance in here. I'm just under six feet, so we can almost stand uh, up in here. We've got this bench that will slide out and to make another little sleeping area. That table that was, at, that was at the back will fit here too if you wanted to sit inside and eat. Uh, we do have an onboard cassette toilet. And then as we look to this side of it, you're gonna have a nice size bed in here. And the really nice thing about this bed, it's gonna lift up and you've got tons of storage underneath here. And you've got uh, actual drawer storage on the other side here. So no wasted space. You've got all this area underneath here you can also store. Um, as we look here, this is that side mount air conditioning unit. Uh, all your controls are here. Uh, this is gonna be your solar controller. So that 200 watt panel that's up there already this is going to monitor your batteries, kind of tell you where they're at and how much power you're, you're pulling in through solar. Um, other than that, we've got a nice max fan here uh, that moves tons of air uh, into here so you can keep the circulation of the air moving. The last thing is a wall-mounted electric heater that uh, you do need to be on a generator plugged in, but this will put out a lot of heat and warm this little trailer up quickly. So that's the new Viking 12,000 series ROK. My name is Todd, I'm down at uh, Motorsports Land at the Mill Creek location. Love to show you this one and other ones. We've also got two other lots 
one out in West Salt Lake by the airport, and another one down in Spanish Fork. We'd love to see you and show you anything you'd like to take a look at. Thanks.